Welcome back to Twins Live presented by CenturyLink with Tim Lautner. I'm Anthony Lepanto, a special edition of the show as we celebrate the 30-year anniversary of the first world championship in Twins history. And we're joined by, on a nightly basis, guys who are a big part of this championship club, Burt Blylevin, Tim Lautner, and Roy Smalley now joins us from field level. Roy, it was a magical night for you, a birthday and the final game of your career. Did you know at that moment that that was going to be it for you? You know, at that moment, Anthony, I, I really didn't. I thought uh, to uh, win the seventh game of World Series on your birthday, pretty special. I knew the end was uh, was getting close, but I was just soaking up the uh, uh, what happened uh, with my uh, with Timmy and Bird and my team, all of my teammates. So many of them are uh, are here today. And I have to tell you, after 30 years, we're still looking each other in the eye and say, yep, we took that hill together, didn't we? That pile we just showed was none other than our own Tim Laudner. Yeah, bottom of the pile. It's, uh, Roy, you got to introduce your guest, too. Is she a, the most adorable thing in the world? This, is, this is my granddaughter, uh, Savannah Smalley. She was just nine years old. Just a little bit older than her daddy was uh, when uh, we won the World Series in, in 1987. And I promised her she could uh, come out here and see what uh, big time television That's is all awesome. about. That's awesome, Roy. <laughs> That's great. And getting back to the, you know, the special moments that we had and, and uh, Roy talk. I didn't even know it was I didn't know it was your birthday, Roy. That's why I feel bad. Now I owe you a present or a piece of cake or something. Uh, but we had special moments, and we're reliving some of those moments uh, during the course of this weekend. One that I'd like to uh, talk about is that Danny Schatzader, we haven't seen him in any of the reunions that we've had. And uh, he was a relief pitcher for us. Yep. And he told me after I caught the final out of game six that I brought the baseball up and put it in, in his glove in his locker. He was the winning pitcher in game six. And, and Anthony, I got to tell you, I didn't even know that. I don't remember it. I don't know it, but it was made me feel really good that he remembered and he thought that that was something very special to him. You know, that's the kind of team uh, th th that we had, wasn't it, Tim? I mean, yeah, just absolutely. little things, little things like that. We were all, if ever there was a uh, an example of that trite, uh, you know, one for all and all for one. I, I played 13 years for a lot of teams. I, I never experienced anything, anything uh, like that. And it's just like a story like that that you just told about Shotzi and and you know the wonderful thing is everybody looks the same you know a little bit different but exactly the same <laughs> and it's just great to see it's like it's like we never left well as a guy who was a fan during those years to get a chance to see some of you guys and obviously I work with you two guys on a regular basis but to see some of the other guys and just see their as you mentioned it the faces light up as the stories are told yeah they were classics, and uh, for a Twins fan, it's a special time. Congratulations to both of you guys. It's stuff like that that keeps us young, huh, Roy? You, you better believe it. And, and you know, after one more night like this, I'm going to be feeling even older. We got, we got to quit this now. I got